Hey guys, what's up? It's Crystal. So today I have a what's in my mailbox haul video. Basically, these are all products that were sent to me by companies. So this is like a PR mail haul and I've never done one of these before. So just let me know your thoughts on these types of videos down in the comments. Let me know if you like them, if you don't like them, just so I know if I should continue to do these. I personally like to watch PR mail hauls. I like to see all the new products that come out, so it doesn't bother me, but I would like to get your thoughts about it. So just let me know in the comment section. Let's go ahead and get started because I wanna get through this video before my daughter wakes up from her nap. So I received a box from Algenist, and I was really surprised because I received this around the holidays right before Christmas, I think. It was in December, and I was really surprised that this showed up on my doorstep. I don't know how they got my address, because normally I get an email before I receive products from companies, but this just showed up on my doorstep, and I was super, super excited about it, because I haven't really tried any Algenist products, and this is like their best of collection. So I know I've seen this, I believe, on Sephora.com. It says it is $120, and it has a $175 value. So. I was just really excited to receive this. I think it's because I'm a style haul partner, so I think that may have been why I received it. I'm pretty sure the other YouTubes that are partnered with Style Haul received this as well. So I'm thinking that's how they got my address, but regardless, I'm very thankful. So this is the actual box that this stuff comes in. So it comes with the Gentle Rejuvenating Cleanser, and I'm pretty sure this is a full size and I hope the lights don't wash everything out, guys. If it does, I'm really, really sorry. Okay, so this is the Advanced Anti-Aging Repairing Oil, and I love facial oils. Like, for me, they're so essential, especially for my normal to dry skin. So, can't wait to play with this. This is like a full size, so ugh, I'm so happy. I'm so, so, so stoked about it. And then, this is the Firming and Lifting Cream. And then lastly, it comes with the Ultimate Anti-Aging Eye Cream. So I'm really excited to start playing with those. Okay, next I received this from BoxyCharm. This is the January box, and I have not even used any other products in here yet. I'm kind of going to go briefly through these. If you want specific videos on some of the products, just let me know. I can do that for you. But this is the BoxyCharm Eyes On 2016. So it comes with this Blink mascara amplified comes in this like tube and then inside is the actual mascara and I haven't used this yet so so that's the mascara one it's a little big for my liking I probably won't like it to be honest just because I don't like big ones it's just a personal preference I think it's like a mascara similar to one from Too Faced can't remember which one it was it's basically you put it on I think and then it comes off like when you wash your face it comes off like in a tube like it just slides right off your lashes I'm pretty sure that's what I've heard so that retails for $26 so this is the Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Palette and this re and this retails for $39.95 which I think is really pricey I would not buy this unless it was on sale so this has 20 eyeshadows in it, and it's supposed to be similar to the Urban Decay Smoked palette, which I do not own. So these are all the shades in there. And then it comes with this Royal and Lane Nickel brush set. This is the eye set, and it comes with three brushes. And let's see, it has a detail crease and smudger brush, and this retails for $23.97. So I've heard lots of people talk about the Royal and Lang Nickel brushes on YouTube. It says no animal products used, 100% vegan. So hmm, these look interesting, especially this really long one right here. So I'll have to use these and see how they work. It comes with this Star Looks Luxe Longwear Eyeliner Pen. It's full size and it retails for $19. So that is what it looks like. It is very black, but it looks very liquidy, so I'll have to see if it dries down. I received a couple boxes from Influencer, and if you're not familiar with it, which I think most people are these days, if you're not familiar with Influencer, I will link the website down below. Basically, you can review products for free by linking your social media accounts and reviewing products that they send you on your social media. So you can do like surveys, review products, 
online in order to qualify for these boxes. So I got two boxes from them. So the first box contained two deodorants. These are the Dove Dry Sprays. I've never tried a antiperspirant that's in a spray form before, so this was my first time. They sent the Dove Dry Spray, the antiperspirant, non-irritant, 48 hour wear, cool essentials one for women. And I've used this several times and I just have to say that I like the fact that it's a spray. It just makes the application really easy, but I don't like this scent. It's just really fragrant and it's overpowering. I was hoping because it like has a cucumber on the front of it that it wouldn't be too strong and it would just be very subtle, like, like fruity or fresh smelling, but it's very, very fragrant. And I feel like it overpowers my perfume, my scented body lotion, or my body spray. So that's the main reason that I don't like this. Um, I felt like it's supposed to be, let's say, it says it feels instantly dry with one-fourth moisturizers to care for your under eye, underarm skin. It's supposed to keep you dry but also moisturize. And I just, I felt like it didn't keep me that dry and I just don't like the scent of this. They sent this one, which is for men. This is the Dove Men Plus Care Dry Spray. It's extra fresh, and this one my husband used quite a few times, and he actually really liked it. He liked the scent of it. He said it kept him dry, so he liked it. I didn't like it. I don't know. Obviously, they're gonna be different because one's for men, one's for women, but uh, I thought his was a little bit fragrant too, so I didn't really care for the scent of his as well, but I'm very sensitive to smells, so that could be why. So the other box I received from Influencer was a YSL Touche Clat Neutralizer. This is basically a color correcting concealer, and I got the shade in violet. The packaging on this is really, really pretty, and it comes in one of those like clicky pins. You just click the top of it here, or the bottom of it, and product comes out. So I did use this a few times. Actually, it looks pretty pink. It is a violet shade, apparently, but I feel like it looks more pink, like very similar to some of my pink color correcting concealers. And I thought it was okay. It did brighten under the eyes, which I did like, but I just feel like for the price, this is just what, too expensive. It's like, I think it's $38 for this. And I just feel like there's so many other options out there, but it has kind of a thinner consistency. Um, I don't have dark circles, but I do like to use pink concealer under my eyes to brighten. So it does do that for me, but it doesn't give a lot of coverage. So if you're somebody with like dark circles or needs a lot of coverage under your eyes, I don't think this would work this particular color anyways. They do have a green one and I believe a peach one or something like that. So this one is brightening. As you can see here, it does brighten up my hand quite a bit but I don't feel like it gives a ton of coverage if that's something you need. And I just feel like the price point is really, really high. I think there's other options out there because Sephora has some color correcting. Actually, most brands have color correctors. I know Stila came out with a palette. Tarte came out with a palette. Becca came out with the little pots. Um, Sephora has their own line of color correcting concealers. I'm sure there's tons of other brands out there, but color correctors are all the rage right now. So. This was okay, I just think for the price, it's just too expensive for what it is. Ofra sent me these new liquid lipsticks and I've already mentioned one before, but um, I was really excited when I received these. So I love the Ofra liquid lipsticks. They are just really creamy, really smooth. They don't feel really drying on the lips and I love the scent, the formula, and I just love everything about them. So, so this one right here is called Staten Island and I did a video like a tutorial using this one and I just really really love this color it's kind of like that taupey purplish mauve I don't even know how to describe it like I think it looks different on my hand than it looks on my lips too and it looks different on different people as well but I just love these colors not they're not for everybody some people think you look like a dead corpse when you wear them but I just personally like them um, especially for fun, just like to do creative looks and not necessarily that I would love to wear this out in public all the time. <laughs> okay, so the next one is called Harlem. And I think this is part of their Skyline collection, if I'm not mistaken. Like all of these are part of their Skyline collection. They have like so many colors, guys. If you haven't checked them out, you should. I do have a coupon code with Ofra. It's not an affiliate link, so I don't earn any commission. But if you want to use it, it's for 30% off. So that one there is called Harlem. 
just a really deep vampy shade, like a maroonish color. Very, very pretty. And then this one is called the Bronx, and this one is very extreme because it's black, but it's very pigmented. And I would probably not use this unless it's for Halloween or something like that, but that one is the Bronx. The Bronx, yeah, and it's a black liquid lipstick. So they're just really fun colors to play with. So Madame Glam was kind enough to send me some more nail polishes. They've sent me nail polishes in the past and I really do like them. I have one of them on today. So the one that I'm wearing is called Dusty Navy. And I do pick all the shades out myself. And the nice thing about their website is they actually have nail swatches. So you can see what they look like on the nail. So that's how I always pick my shades out. Um, so this one is just a really pretty color. It has an amazing formula. It just goes on very opaque on the first application. So love this. The other one that I've worn is called For a Lady. And it's just like that dusty purple color. I just love this shade. So this is For a Lady. This one you do need to build up a little bit. The first coat is a little bit sheer, but once you put the second coat on, it's just really pretty and very glossy. I love the glossiness to them. So the rest of them I have not worn yet. This is the C Swing and Sun shade. Just a really pretty light blue. This one's called Caribbean Island. And it's just a minty green. Love me some mint. This one is called Kiss Me Now. And it's just a vibrant corally shade. I would say that one's more of a pinky coral. This one's a very bright coral. This one is Coral Passion. And this one's like, call, this one screams summertime. It's like a neon coral color. So Bedellium Tools sent me their auto lip crayons. They come in this packaging right here. And I did swatch them and take some pictures. So I will insert the pictures of them instead of swatching them live just so this video is not too long. But let me just show you the packaging of these. So they come in these really nice packaged crayons. And the color of it is right here where my pinky is. I like the fact that they're kind of small crayons because it's a little bit easier to outline your lips if you need to. But they're just twist up crayons and they're really nice in formula. They're a lot better than I expected. They are very pigmented and the color payoff is really, really good. So I will insert the pictures of those and I'm gonna do a whole lip swatch video of those separate from this one. So just stay tuned for that. So these are the Ofra Fix Line Eyeliner Gels and then I have a couple of the semi-permanent waterproof eyebrow gels. So I just wanted to go over these briefly. I want to do a whole separate video on these as well. So they have a bunch of really fun colors for the eyeliner gels. I will be doing a whole separate review and swatch video of these. So just stay tuned for that. So I received this package in my PO box from a lovely subscriber named Lulu. She's just so kind and so thoughtful for thinking of me and sending me something. She has a company named Sparkle and & Court and it's basically jewelry. So it came packaged really lovely like this. And I don't check my PO box very often because I really don't get very much mail there. So months will go by before I check it sometimes and I was really surprised to find this in there. So thank you so much Lulu for this package. I emailed you, I'm not sure if you got it yet because I haven't heard back, but I really, really appreciate you sending me this. It was very, very thoughtful of you, so I love it. So she basically has a jewelry company and I will list everything down below in the description box, but she sent me a few pairs of earrings. So she sent me these earrings right here. They're really pretty and cute. I love hoops, so I love these. These are probably my favorite of the three earrings that she did send me. They came individually packaged in these little silver pouches. So, so cute, love that. She sent me these. So she sent those to me right there. And then she sent these right here. So that was so sweet of her. I'm going to link her website down below. Definitely check it out if you're into jewelry. I love jewelry. I have a whole jewelry box, like a huge jewelry box full, and 
I used to buy jewelry all the time and I'm trying to be better about not buying anymore just because I have so much that I need to rotate through. But I'm really grateful to add these to my collection. Thank you so much, Lulu. And she did write a letter to me and she did give a coupon code. However, it expired because by the time that I checked my PO box, the coupon code was already expired. So if she sends me another coupon code, I will link that down below in case you want to check it out. But definitely check out her website. Thank you so, so much, Lulu. I appreciate it. It's just very thoughtful. If you guys send me stuff, I'm always grateful. Very, very grateful. So I have this entire box full of e.l.f. stuff that they sent me. And I think I'm going to cut the video off here and do a entire separate video on the e.l.f. portion of this haul PR mail. I'm gonna make sure I record it right now so I can get it done. So that was it for this portion of the PR mail haul. Again, if you guys like these, if you don't like these, just leave your comments about them down below. Just let me know if you want me to continue doing these types of videos because I want your feedback. So thank you guys so much for watching as always and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.